In under 5 minutes, I'm going to show you how to set up Optin Monster, how to set up your first campaign, and the basic settings you need to go to really make things work. So stick around! Hello and welcome, my name is Peter Krzyzek, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the what you need to know to get going with Optin Monster in under 5 minutes. So let's get going with the first thing of installing the plugin. Once you have your Optin Monster subscription, all you have to do is upload the main plugin. The main file is just optin-monster.zip. It's around 2.5 megabytes. And then once it's uploaded, we activate the plugin. Once it's installed and activated, we'll find the Optin Monster link on the left side, usually at the bottom. Now, before you can actually do anything with Optin Monster, you need the activation code or license key. So copy that from your account and enter it here. If you have anything above the basic level subscription for Optin Monster, you'll have immediate access to a lot of add-ons, but we have to first install them. I have the pro level, so actually I can install all the add-ons here, which I'm going to show you. If you've been looking at my screen a little bit, you see I have a whole lot of privacy plugins and all that stuff in my Chrome browser. And that actually causes a problem with installing these add-ons automatically. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of installing these through Chrome, if you have a lot of security plugins, then you can just uh, click the plugins and add new and add the plugins manually, uh, file by file by file. But if you want to install them automatically, which is what I recommend, use a different browser or even Chrome without all the security plugins, then you'll be able to click install add-on and it'll work. If I click it, this is what happens, just that. But it works in another browser that doesn't have all the security add-ons, which is what I'm going to use going forward here. So here I am in Safari without all the crazy security and privacy add-ons. And now I can actually just click install add-on and it'll install. And that's as simple as it is. If you have the pro subscription, you'll be able to just click, easily click on these and get them all installed. And once they're all installed, you probably want to activate all of them so that you can have all the available functionality. That's that simple. Creating an opt-in form in Optin Monster is actually rather easy. All we have to do is go to the main Optin Monster page and click add new. The first thing we have to do is give this campaign a title. I'm calling mine, my example campaign. The next step is to decide what type of opt-in form you want to use. The light box is the default and standard type of pop-up that you can get from Optin Monster. You have a lot of choices here for themes, with my personal preference being the bullseye theme and the clean slate theme. The canvas style of Optin is more or less a free-for-all. You can put almost anything you want there. The footer bar, as the name states, goes in the footer. The mobile will only show up on the mobile type website. So when you shrink it down on your Android device or an iPhone, that type of thing. After post, it will show up only after the post or type of post you specify. Sidebar is made specifically to go in the sidebar so it's nice and thin and can be a little bit long. The slide in is kind of the odd one out because it's similar to the light box, but it's a lot simpler and it kind of just slides in. That's it. In this example, I'm going to use the clean slate theme because it has a nice border, areas for content, and an image. This is what the Optin Monster backend, the configuration area, looks like. Here in the backend, we can set all the changes for this specific campaign. Here, we're going to change the colors of the theme and go from there. Lately, I've been partial to the red colors, so we're going to make this reddish colored. Optin Arrow colors are the li these little dudes over here, so I'm going to make that really a nice deep red. Footer color is right over here. I don't want that to be a deep, deep red. I want it kind of like an offset color. For the border color is this little border right there. I probably don't want that red. I want a, a nice dark black. In the theme section, we can change the type of theme we're using. In most cases, you're not going to do that. The fields area is where you enable or disable what fields are shown and change the style of things here and the sign up button. I'm going to change the sign up button to not say sign up. It's going to say download now. And I'm going to change the color to match my brand colors, which is a nice little red over here. The configuration section is where you set how the form behaves by default. I'm going to leave this stuff the way it is because it's working really well. If you want to add a redirect, which I usually recommend because you can set them to a thank you page, you can enter it here. The integration section is where you say who you're going to connect it to. I use MailChimp, so I'm just going to connect it to my MailChimp account. You enter the information it asks for and click connect. Once it's successful, you'll see something just like this. Output is where you set where it's going to be shown or not shown. This one, I want it to be shown globally. Effects are what effect do you want it to show when this thing shows up. And then click save and exit to save and exit. 
Well, we managed to create a campaign in under five minutes. I think that's pretty darn cool and shows a lot about how fast you can really create something in Optin Monster. As you can see, our campaign is live. So all we would have to do is go to the page if I had the front end enabled because this is my demo site, so I don't. We would be able to see this as a non-logged in user. This thing would pop up and we can sign up and it would connect to my existing MailChimp account. I think that's really darn cool. There's a lot of customizations that we can go through in Optin Monster. I'll save that for a next video. And especially all these add-ons, I recommend using most of them. So play around with all the settings features because there's a lot of stuff that you can do in here. So play around, have fun, and thanks for watching.